All right, what's up YouTube? Welcome to the new video, vlog number, I believe number 94. The response from my last video has been really amazing. Uh, thank you everyone to, who leaves a comment. I read every single comment. I try my best to respond to every single one. To everyone who messages me on Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat, I respond to all of that too. It might take a little longer to respond. And I just wanna say thank you to everyone for the support. But you know what? I got some good news. Something amazing is happening right now. Dev's life, I've been trying to build for the last couple months and working with designers and trying to get a logo built and really thinking of a name and even just like a thinking of a slogan for Dev's life, which is code create live. Uh, where you code your future to existence, right? You create your future with code. And so I finally ordered some sample shirts to come in before the big bulk comes in. And I want to show you what the sample shirts look like. Check this out, man. Oh my God, look at this. This is insane. Can't show it to you right now. I'll show it to you after work. I'm going to open this and actually put one of them on. I'm going to wear it throughout the office to see how it feels as I wear it throughout the office today. And I'll see you guys when I get out. I'm excited, man. See you guys in a little bit. Peace. All right, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I am off work right now. I'm off work, everyone left. Uh, but I got some really exciting news, like I said earlier. The new sample shirts came in for Dev's Life Clothing. Um, if you haven't yet, make sure to check out devslifeclothing.com. I'll put the link in the description below. Make sure you register. Um, what's going to happen is that for those who register, and I will send the mass email out, I'm going to send out a $5 discount uh, to everyone. That I'm using Shopify to do this, although I am designing the page myself, um, making some edits with my custom code as much as I can. I'm using Shopify because it's just so easy to use. They have an app that I can use with everything. But man, guys, if you haven't yet, make sure you do it. But alright, the time has come. Let me show you guys the sample shirts I got right now, okay? I got two sizes of each. I got a large and an extra large. Large fits, but still a little too tight on me. I am an extra large. I'm a little bit on the heavy side, if you couldn't tell. So, but let me show you the shirts I got. I got three colors, okay? So here's the white one, right here. This is the white Dez Life shirt. You're probably gonna be too bright, but here's the white one. I got the navy blue one, which I'm wearing right now. Check it out. So this is the navy blue one that I'm wearing right now pretty legit but I also have the black one which I like a lot I like the name I like all of them to be quite honest and you know what it is really loud out here let me go in the car sorry I know it was really loud outside someone's fixing the car all the planes passing by it's like ah but anyway man like it's official man I mean Dad's life is here like look at this man I want to show it one more time I'm just I'm sorry from like talking about this so much but check this out look at that look how clean that is that's printed on there look how clean that is that's crazy, like the quality of the printing on this is amazing. It's not like the first sweater I had and I didn't, I only sold like 20 of those sweaters and I canceled it the moment I sold the last sweater because I realized, you know what, this fabric isn't good. I don't wanna do this to my subscribers. I don't wanna do this to my brand name. I wanna make sure I keep it nice and pure and clean. And you know what, so if you haven't yet, make sure you register at devslifeclothing.com. Um, I will give a $5 discount to everyone I looked about looked around to see how much shipping would cost and it's about like around five or six dollars for one shirt um, if you are gonna order multiple shirts um, what I will be doing is that I'll be increasing that five dollar discount more and more and more depending on the amount of shirts you pretty much order so um, but yeah so I will give a discount on that for those who want to order more shirts this is gonna go live soon I don't know the exact date yet I'm guessing this coming Monday so register, okay, register. Again, I wanna thank everyone, honestly, really for the support. The reason this is happening is because of you guys. I mean, why would I start a clothing line? Why would I try to build a brand? And this brand that I'm building isn't like anything out there. It's not a fitness brand. It's not like, you know, it's not a, like, I'm not Nike or Adidas. Um, it's just, I wanna build something that no one has done before. I started a YouTube channel that no one's really done before. A vlogging YouTube channel about programmers. No one's ever done that. If there is, that's done it before me and done it well, let me know. And I want to talk to them, <laughs> right? And I want to do this and the clothing line for developers, for programmers, to help them become something they never thought they could become before. But anyway, see you guys in a little bit. I gotta go. See you guys tomorrow. Peace. All right, YouTube, I wanted to give you an update about how the day went. Today at work was 
pretty busy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm kinda drained from work because there's so much that I had to work on, so much that I had to do. Um, there are clients who didn't really know what they want. They are honestly, those are like the worst clients to be honest. Working with a client that doesn't know what they want and so when you make what you think what they want and then they realize they don't want what they actually wanted um, and now and you have to start from scratch and build all the way from the beginning and that is literally what the life of a developer is and it is really bright. But yeah, so work was kind of crazy, um, kind of drained. And yeah, so the, uh, what, I, what I was talking about, those clients are really the worst clients. The ones that really don't know what it is that they that they really want. They're the hardest to work with because you make exactly what they want and you think you're doing what they want and then they you find out they actually didn't really want what they wanted. And it's like, what do you want me to do? And so you have to, to make more time that could have been used for other stuff to get it done. And so um, those are the clients that you really want to try to watch out for. Those are the clients that are honestly the hardest to work with. So, um, man, this lens is heavy. Oh my gosh. That's pretty much what happened today. Um, and you know what? I think what, that's what I want to talk about today is what kind of clients should you be looking for? What kind of clients do you need to stay away from? What, what, yeah, what, who, what is the perfect web developer client? I'll talk about that once at park because my arms are sore. Peace. YouTube, you guys have to check this out, man. So I'm here next to the Santa Ana Zoo, but look what's flying everywhere. Check it out. Right there. That's an actual parrot, believe it or not. Those are parrots. It looks like they escaped from the zoo. That's crazy. Dang. I have never seen a parrot like that out in the open. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Darn it, man. I was recording and even have uh, the mic on. But anyway, YouTube. So. I'm here at work right now. I know I'm so sorry. I didn't really have time to vlog at all yesterday after what I talked about. So I'm here and I'll talk about what I really want to talk about after work, not at my lunch break, but after work. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. I had got to go into the office. I have my chicken. Check this out. I got my focus on this, bro. I got my chicken, um, brown rice. I got my chicken right there with my Filipino ketchup. Um, and I'm eating this for lunch today, um, but today's lunch will be really different because I actually have a meeting with the Firehose Project. We're going to discuss more on how we can really build a strong relationship together, how they can help you guys even become the developers that you want to be as well. And so I'm really looking forward to this meeting. I'm about to get in a call with them right now. Yeah, uh, can you guys hear me? Hey guys, <laughs> um, I'm a big Gary Vee fan and that's why you know I figured I'd go into YouTube and try to do it and because to be honest when I didn't even know code yet I went to Treehouse that's where I learned but I tried to find everywhere online like who can I find online and follow that can actually talk about the process of what they went through in, a, in either Treehouse or Bootcamp and there are people who try to do it but they're really boring and there are people who try to do it and they didn't know how to talk and they had bad cameras. And so I told myself, you know what? I do videography and I like looking at myself in the camera. <laughs> I'm just joking, I'm comfortable in the camera. And I went out and just pretty much fired this project. Uh, to be honest, um, there's a lot of boot camps out there, online courses, people try to sell their own things and it's really hard to trust anyone nowadays and looking at what you guys have done and even just looking through the courses myself and I've went through different, many different companies and I've seen how other online courses went through, like how bad the courses are, how boring they are. Whew. Wow, it is, it is really hot right now. <laughs> California has not been this humid in a really long time. I do not know why it's this humid. Out of nowhere, but it's cool. Anyway, as you know, I got off work earlier today. Um, I was supposed to meet with someone, uh, but the person ended up canceling, and so I'll probably meet with them another time. And so I got some free time under my hands. So I'm here, if you could tell, at Best Buy. Um, I just want to look around. One thing I've been looking at getting is a Hero Black. Hero something. Hero something black, I forgot what it's called. But it's a GoPro, uh, really nice GoPro. It's kind of expensive, but I just want to take a look at it. I'm not going to buy anything, I promise. I'm not going to buy anything today. I just want to take a look at it. Something I could probably use in Korea when I go there. So let's go ahead and let's check it out. Dang, it's right there, guys. I really, really want that. All right, YouTube, so I am leaving uh, Best Buy right now. I tried finding something that I needed they didn't really have it and so I told myself I'm not gonna buy anything and I almost bought the, the GoPro Hero 5 but I didn't 
Come on, you guys gotta give me props. I controlled myself. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna go in my car. And I'll talk to you guys in a second. YouTube, all right. So, I know I still didn't talk about code. I'm sorry, I will. But it is crazy windy in California right now. It is insane. I have no idea, but look at the trees outside, okay? Check this out, check out the trees. You probably can't tell, but like, it's super like, you see the trees moving right there? It doesn't look that bad on the, on, on the camera, but it, they are blowing really, really hard. Look at that, man, like, blowing like crazy. That's just insane. All right, YouTube, I know, I know. I dragged it on, on I dragged it on long enough. It's been two days since I started the beginning of this vlog. Time to talk about it now. Now what I want to talk about are the five clients, okay? The five clients that every freelance web developer should avoid and stay away from. I'm talking about that right now. The first kind of client you want to be aware of are the clients that are really broad and what they're looking for and don't even really know what it is that they're looking for. These are the clients that I deal with so many times and these are the clients that because they don't know what they want, to be quite honest, it wastes so much time to the point that sometimes you're thinking maybe we shouldn't even have this person as a client. Maybe I shouldn't have this person as a client. Because I finish a project, I put six to 12 hours on a project, I complete it, and then what happens, that when I complete it and I show the client the project, even halfway through the project they thought they liked it, when I show them the final results, the product, they told me, that's not what we're looking for. And I'm like, what is going on? You... Uh, and then what happened is that I did it again, right? I finished the project, but again, I showed it to them, it wasn't what they're looking for. And so what happened is that at the end of the day, when I finally did a third project for them, I didn't get paid extra for the extra hours I'm putting into this. I just told them I can't do it because they don't know what they want. And I just thought about how much time did I waste? How much time could I put on doing other things that I want, other hobbies, and just relaxing or working on things I could have worked on to make me better? Um, so that's the kind of client you want to be aware of. Number one are the clients that just don't really know what they want. The next kind of client you want to stay away from uh, is the client that just keeps asking for more and isn't willing to pay more. The client that just keeps saying, you know what, can you make this change for me? The client that says, can you make this change for me? Uh, you know what, I know you told me that I can only make a max amount of three changes on this page every single month, uh, but you know what, I need you to make this change for me and yeah. Uh, this kind of client you want to avoid is the one I always try to avoid. It's a client that is not willing to pay up front. Uh, what I do is that when I do work with freelance clients, um, as a freelance developer, um, I always tell them that I want them to pay the first half up front, right? And then, um, as I progress, as I get 90% of it done, I'll ask for the, 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 the next fourth of it, right? Um, and then as I finish the project, I'll show them the live project, but I'll show it in a way where they can't grab the code or anything. I'll show them screenshots or a video of me recording the video, screen recording it and showing it to the, to the actual client, what it is that I did. And then I'll show it to them and I'll say, I will give you this page and I'll give you the code and send you all the files. I'll upload it to your website and everything, but I need you to, I need you to send me the final money that I'm requesting to complete the payment of the work that I've been putting in for your website. Um, there have been many times when there have been clients who just didn't want to pay. And there have been clients who said, I'll pay you soon, I'll pay you soon, I'll pay you soon. Um, you know what, uh, I'm sorry, I, there's a delay, I can't pay you yet. And these are clients you want to stay away from because yes, maybe you'll eventually get your money, but it's just such a pain in the butt. There are people who take three months to pay, four months to pay, but it's really important to make sure you have a strict, like, like strict requirement before you work for them saying, I need, to, I need to be paid like this, this, this. This will help you in the long run. Man, I think I'm, man, I think I'm getting sick, guys. Not again. Ugh. Those are the kind of developers that I really believe that you need to make sure you stay away from, you avoid, do your best as possible if you can. If not, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> but alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Oh man, I'm getting sick man But yes, I'll end the video here. Thank you everyone for watching uh, I hope to see you guys Thank you guys for watching this video will be uploaded on Friday. The next video will be uploaded on Sunday Probably Sunday midnight uh, which will be Monday morning. So watch out for those next videos. I can't wait Dev's life. I finally had a date after contemplating for a while 
devslifeclothing.com will be going live on Monday. The shirts um, are about $24.99, $24.99 per shirt. Um, here's the page, an example of what it will look like. Very simple, yes I'm using Shopify.com because I just don't have the time to code a cart like that right now, although that's what I do for a living at work. I don't need to prove myself, that's why I just did the one with Shopify.com. Check it out, and if you haven't yet, register at my website to find out when it'll go live, the moment it does, and I will make sure to notify you guys. Thank you guys for all the support. I love you. See you guys later. This is Krishan. This is the Life of Web Developer, and I'm out. Peace.